keep dying and I keep coming back and starting all the way over again from the beginning so I can get the uh, Healspring Jack trophy. And every time I come back, I come back stronger with some new knowledge of a new way that I should play. And from now on, we will be totally safe. We will not take a chance at all for anything. We will just leave. Even if it means leaving a computer or all the computers behind. I'm making only a little bit of cash off of the level. No risks. Uh, hello? Cool. Or you can just give it to me because I'll, I'll be here. Oh no, I know. I just meant I'm probably going to get back later. Okay. So that now you're teaching to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Unless you want to. Right, because you're not going to the local gym or anything. You're going somewhere else. All the way. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that... Cool, cool. Um... No, it's fine. Kitchen table sounds good. The, the whole table? Cool, cool. cool. I figured. Yeah. In the trash, that would be a little weird, yeah. Or if you put the whole table in the trash, you were like, you didn't say the kitchen table couldn't be in the trash. Yeah, I mean, difficult to do. I would be impressed if you could do that. Yeah. Even taking it apart and putting it in the trash would be, would be an interesting move. Take it, you like, break it into little pieces and put it all in the trash. There it is, it's on the kitchen table. I didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. You heard about the shooting? Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, I was like, when he came in, I was in the middle of writing something about it. And the number keeps going up and up and up and up. In terms of it was, you know, it was, you know, then it was, the it was, then 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 it was, yes. And then that was, yeah. What about the one where they shot the Republicans? Did you include that one? No. That one doesn't count. I probably wiped it out of my mind. Even though it's actually very important to show how retarded they are. Yeah. That even when it happened to them, they were like, no, we didn't want that. That's why I kind of wish people would keep shooting them. Because I feel like maybe eventually they would be like, this is bad. They'd be like, idiots shouldn't be allowed to have guns. I really think they're just killing us. I curious to study, like, not just the truck or anything. Yeah. Like, between, like, mental, like, their actual smarts, and then, like... Well, I think they just think they won't be shot at again, and maybe they won't, because it hasn't happened again. And so, like, I guess they're right, you know, it's, it'll, only, mean, it'll only happen to other people that, that, that aren't I'm them. I'm sure some other people they don't, have shot with Republicans. Yeah, but they don't care, like, if, like, a few of their voters get shot. They, they care about, like, if, if, uh, that's what I mean, though, if like, they personally are shot. The po politicians in general. I feel like if you keep shooting at, if the politicians themselves kept getting shot, they would be like, this needs to change. Right. But I think they know that it, they're not going to keep getting shot at, like, that was a one-time But that's thing. what I mean, though. I want, I think we should do, like, a, a study. We should shoot at them. Oh, like, no. Yeah, study. A worldwide study yeah. on, like, the voters of... Not just Trump, but like yeah. the voters of Republican officials. Yeah, I, I'd be shocked to see if. Uh, I think they like they, these guys, these these gun nuts. They, they fantasize all day. Like they, it's almost like their dream if if somebody comes and tries to shoot them with an assault rifle, because like they're ready for it and they're gonna like they're gonna start shooting them or whatever. Well, it's funny. Did you hear about? But it's usually it's right usually now? it's usually never. It, they usually don't go after people that have guns. You know, they, the, the, the random people. No, what did he say? Uh, he was one of the main headliners that night. That's and terrible. He was apparently a big supporter of uh, guns prior, and they apparently him and his band they all had like guns in their bust. But like that was the exact point. What yeah. you kind of just said, where it's like the dream of like we're gonna get them yeah. to cap in their ass. It's like, well, you were on stage. Yeah, you, yeah, didn't help. You're gonna get your gun, and if you did have your gun, and there were what like five hundred. So they, have, have they ch have they changed their? Um, yeah, they changed their stance. At least yeah. they did. I don't know about everybody in the band. Um. Yeah, I bet, I bet they probably did too. Well, I mean, because it's, it's ridiculous, but it's, the ego is so big. So imagine that you're. You know, like, Tom Petty also died. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess. That's what I'm saying. All the all the decent people, they're just their hearts are breaking and they just die. So I'm next. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be dead soon. Uh, it's really emo. It's but it's happening. It's real. My yeah. health is my health is exploding. I don't I I don't want you to die. Well, thank you. That's nice. So but died. people didn't want Tom Petty to die either, and he died. Yeah, and Carrie Fisher, everybody. I, feel, I actually don't like Carrie Fisher that much. She was kind of bad. <laughs> I can't. I can't talk to you right now. You're killing me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want her to die. I don't think it was that bad. It, it wasn't. She didn't have enough lines and stuff. She would. She could have been good. I also just never liked her. I was like. <laughs> the best thing she. You no. Stop. You're years, killing me. You're killing me. That was about it. It's because it's it turned you gay? No, I thought it was cute. <laughs> but, like, I, I actually didn't really like her that much. Like, I liked a lot of the other females. In the that was, like, movie. the most misogynist moment of, her, of like, Star Wars. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I think the <laughs> you were like, that's so cute. For the most, uh, for the most uh, part, is, like, they don't... Other than, um... Princess Leia was, like, a, like a badass hero with a gun that, like, saved herself a long time. the amount of uh, fire she got. It's kind of like the Bond babes who get, like, a couple shots, and people are like, they're so awesome. No, she was, like, the leader of the revolution and stuff. She was really awesome, and she, like, stood up to Darth Vader and, like, like um, basically refused to refuse to give him any information and was tortured. She was a, she was a complete badass. I guess I just I, I mean for for the time for the time and and she generally didn't dress like super sexy or anything. No, you know? that was like a one time. Yeah, thing. yeah. No, I just I never <laughs> liked her in it personally. But then I'm also not the biggest Star Wars nut. So and then at that point she like murders Jabba the Hutt. She like she like strangles him with a chain for for doing that to her, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah, no, I think it was just like I actually preferred the Ewok movies, which were horrible, to the Star Wars movies. <laughs> they were really bad I'll admit that but uh, I like well I, I'm with you on Pink 5 at least <laughs> no I really thought that the Ewoks were cute and so like that that like I didn't care about the acting or the writing yeah I yeah I hear you run around and be yeah. like it. I at least agree with you that Pink 5 is the best Star Wars movie if you unless you think the Ewok movies are also better than Pink 5 no then I'll disagree with you <laughs> no I don't agree with that yeah. Oh. Really just um oh yeah, just for nothing or for or No, it was they she was kept up to right now. Two days from now. Um and then the whole street happened to change. Oh I see. She was gonna perform her material and like, you know, do stuff. And so they did like a, a anti gun song or something you're saying? Uh they did a set up put it down which is an anti gun I wonder if people will ever come around in this. Like, I, I think you could at least agree that like crazy people should have guns, but I think I don't know. I guess they won't even they won't even falter on that because they're like. Well, that was what my big post was about. When I think I can understand from a corporate perspective, you want everybody to be able to buy guns, like even crazy people, well, yeah. which is weird. You want yeah, you want money, yeah, but um, then, I don't know, like, don't you have any, like, guilt about that? Like, well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah. But I, mean, it's still I think it, that's somewhat of a different issue because it was like at least, at least, you know, well, I, I don't know, maybe it is kind of similar because especially because, like, um, especially because of the secondhand smoke, like, it's not just, it's not just the stupid people that are smoking, it's also the people that are stuck with them, you know, like, like children that are stuck with their parents wind up getting lung cancer and like women that are, or people that are stuck in domestic abuse situations, you know, will will die of cancer because they can't get their bully lover to stop, you know, smoking. And that's that's fucked up. I, I think I just view it as bad as like my mom works for the Quaker Oats for a long time. Or yeah. Not for a long time. I mean but I mean like like I can understand maybe saying, oh like people should be smart enough to know that that cigarettes are not healthy. Well you have to remember when this came out. Um like, this which is now. yeah. this was like yeah. The 70s? Yeah. The 60s before, like, they really had, like, 
you know, yeah. didn't know as much about lung cancer or anything. But still, people, like, I don't know, like, at a certain point when it all came out, people were like, I knew, because, like, obviously blowing smoke out of your mouth is not normal or healthy. And, I mean, I can understand a little bit of, like, it, I think it's somewhat of a bullshit justification, because you're still, at the end of the day, killing people, you know? But, um, you know, and, and people still say that stuff today, like, when, when vitamin water came out, and people are like, they shouldn't be allowed to call it vitamin water, because... People are gonna think that it's healthy, and people are like, "No, they should. They should just know better." Yeah. See, so you, you didn't know. No, I, didn't I mean, it's, know. Well, it's, it's I didn't think it was crazy healthy. Because you know, it's because it's fasting. sugar. You know, it's got so much sugar in it. It's the main thing. You know. But it's like it's, some people would like say that, that people who drink vitamin water deserve to die or whatever and get diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's like corporate people like that. You know, like like, and there's the same people that say that 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 the cigarette smokers should have known. Are the people that are now saying the vitamin water drinkers should have known? Yeah, in fact, the vitamins diluted into the water don't even work. You know, so even even if they had no sugar in vitamin water, it still wouldn't be any health. It wouldn't be healthy at all. So it's like it, the, the vitamins don't do anything. Right. But and and then on top of that, on top of the vitamins not doing anything, it's just like sort of like they just get wasted because they're. You put vitamin C into the water, you dilute it, and then it doesn't work anymore. You just you just destroyed vitamin C for no reason, and then then also also you fill it with sugar that kills people. Yeah. And so you're trying to get healthy, and you're making yourself your healthy your health worse. Yeah. My last little thing before I go to that switch hour to yeah. account, but with with any of it, I think it's just a bullshit justification just to be able to say. That's like when somebody's cheating on their wife and his friend catches them. And yeah. Like, but I'm in like a really rough spot, but at the end of the day, she should know. I mean, like, we haven't had sex in like five years, and like, she knows that, like, I'm a hypersexual person. So, yeah. Like, that's kind of her fault. Yeah. She know. And to me, I feel like that's, that's an asshole lays out, which is like, you need to get enough of help. Yeah. So I think it's all the same, or it's like, that's what we just got to try to yeah. 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 So they can get like money and fun. You get what you want. Yeah. Well, what's weird is that, like, I understand it at least a little bit if it's if it's the person that's making the money, but it's like the random people that aren't making any money that will say that will like be like, oh, well, they should have known. And be like, what? But like. You want, <laughs> you're not even profiting from this. <laughs> like, you just want people to die or something. I don't know. Um, Russell Brand. Yeah, I love Russell Brand. The truth. He's really good on, on um, he has like a YouTube channel called The Truth. He's really good. Unconscious, where we don't really realize how much we're being fed for so long. Yeah. And so a lot of people, just like on abortion stuff, they can only use gas as the only thing they can go to. Yeah. Because they've been brainwashed for so long that they don't really even have their own kids anymore. Yeah. Because they're okay with the kind of they Yeah. Um, and because they're not aware of those things, they can't change them. Yeah. Uh, or they don't want to see it. And it would just pass it. You've got a chance of people. Alright, we'll do it. Uh, because he has this really good way of explaining. He's, um, a, he's a really great speaker. I love I love listening to Russell Brand. Yeah, I mean he interrupted them like a lot. Like, <laughs> you know, that, like I actually think he's a very yeah. intelligent, funny person. Yeah. Um, he's just ADD. He's very yeah. Crazy, so. I feel like he doesn't he doesn't interrupt in a in a misogynistic way, just in a desperate for attention kind of way. Yeah, he doesn't do like <laughs> standard things. Like, well, I, I, I'm gonna, I leave that. That's your thing. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I urge people watch multiple interviews and actually look for it. That's like when someone says, like, oh, this person. Or, Aurelio is claiming that, that, that Bernie Sanders it's is sexist. somewhat of a sexist yet. He who interrupts him. women and won't let them talk. And even how he interrupted Hillary. Mm. I thought yeah. very, and not just interrupted, but how he really at a certain point, like, could have joined on the bandwagon. And we might not have Yeah, although I think he, he was a little bit on the bandwagon. He didn't do it right away though. He did it like after a while. And he got so much criticism and then he finally was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to turn like, my attention. You know, yeah. stuff like that was after almost like a month. Yeah. Like, he was like, I'm going to turn my attention. Yeah. And then he finally was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to 
for like several like hard weeks of reading really on stuff. And by that point, that's like the cigarette company is if they did a 180 now and we're like, you know what, Campbell said smoking is bad, do not do this. Like we are actually like canceling our product, but we're trying to see what it's gonna take a few years. Please do not buy these. Most people who smoke them will not listen to them. Yeah. Because you fucked them up. And then Bernie I Sanders is a great company. No, but I do think that if, I'm not saying he's as bad as they are in every situation of all the beliefs. I'm saying with He's that, exactly the same. No, but yeah, I think it's important to, to look at stuff because if we were I'm just teasing, sorry. Huh? I'm just teasing, sorry. No, it's fine. I'm just saying if we refuse to look at the different layers yeah, yeah. that people have, and we just want to lump like all Democrats are great, all left people are great, all people on the right wing, every single one of them is a horrific person that's just as bad as Hitler. We don't make any progress because we're too busy saying things that just aren't factually true. And then we wind up noticing contradictions but not admitting them. And then we just keep looping and looping and looping and looping. Yeah. I don't want another match to happen, but I'm sure it's going to be something like huge. Like, Las Vegas wasn't enough, apparently. In a way, I'd be relieved if, like, enough mass shootings yeah. happened that we could change the law. It's just crazy. Yeah, but it's not right. But I know what Just it's because, mean. and I mean, just because, like, in a way, I feel like at some point, our luck will be up and somebody we know will be dead. And in a way, it would be better if it was strangers. It's crazy. Like, it's, it's a disgusting, horrible well, thing to say. That my face yeah. I said that I, it's usually when people who are more one day on the side, yeah. like switches when somebody's in the back. Yeah. Or when they have to see somebody that maybe they had eye contact with for two seconds get their head blown off. Yeah. Because that has to be personal, otherwise people don't care. And I think that shows the truth of most people. They should like really on. publicize the, the videos or if there are any. Yeah. I mean, that's what I said about the Vietnam War. I think they should televise war again. Yeah. I think people would warm up more as much if it was on and you could just listen to somebody get their throat slit and women being raped from like the other country by our soldier. Yeah. So we actually like have body cams on every single soldier and like back in the country things. I don't think it's just an American thing. I think globally people will not have it. Yeah. And if they do, then I think they show this up an actual thing. Yeah. Which is not healthy. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm very angry and I'm very angry especially because of the last point we just made, which was a good point, I'm sure it's unfortunate. Yeah. That I think people need to see somebody they know die or somebody that they yeah. have contact with get hurt or injured and... What about those people that are now... Not Republicans though, they, they were okay with it. When, they, when the Republican senators got shot, they were just like, that's okay. There was actually we're a here. part in Species 2 that was really fucked up, yeah. but it was kind of funny, but fucked up. From a certain yeah. perspective, there was, I don't know if you remember this, it was kind of random and I was shocked they did this. But apparently, when the alien guy mm. is kind of being discovered, yeah. he starts running around and like impregnating prostitutes with his alien babies. Of course, they, the women die, and he's using this one hotel to do it. And the guy would just never yeah. pay attention to like who was coming in or out. He would just kind of yeah. be like, put your money, I'm watching TV and yeah. whatever. And then uh, the guy, what's his name? From time to time, Michael Masters. Yeah, yeah, Michael Masters. Like, you know, like, you know, there's all these things happening. I don't pay any attention to the people who are coming out because I don't really give a shit. Like, they have to be made to be made by Joe Biden coming out or something. Yeah. Like, there were all these things that they were doing. And then the guy was in the wheelchair. Yeah. And then the guy was in the wheelchair. Yeah. But then he basically was just like, he was like, I'm going to go. And let him go down the stairs or something? Not down the stairs, but basically it was like he wasn't gonna die, but like he like let the wheelchair kind of like went into the thing and still call it. It was messed up, so it's too wrong to make a ride at the same time. It's like, is that going back to what we were doing before? If yeah. that happens, that would be one of the two things. It was either the one that was like, wow, and then he's gonna be good, and I'm yeah. probably going to die, and I'm just gonna come and come down. Yeah. Or, or it would maybe make the person very angry mm. and then be like, fuck this kind of a person and like, fuck these women even more. So I don't believe violence is the best way. Yeah. But that's where it's like, it's the same thing with race where, or sex or gay <coughs> stuff. Gay people have to be bigger than straight people. Black people have to be bigger than white people. And every group has to be slightly bigger than yeah. the above them. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and if they're not, then you get to their level without that's how they're going to get it. Yeah. It's not fair. You know, just like it's better than sure a lot of people who might have been programmed, who might have actually been gotten injured or no longer, or who didn't care, probably care how long they're going to be. Yeah. And they should never have to be able to get that kind of thing. Yeah. Because they're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. It's just a, to me, it's better to be able to do that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Personally, for me, I don't think that anybody should have.